Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a quick look at how we can very quickly and easily copy an animation that is originally targeted for the Unreal Engine mannequin and apply that to metahumans. Now this actually only works for mannequin targeted animations. If you're going to do an animation from some other source, you'll want to use this documentation page in order to go through the full and accurate process of setting up your retargeting poses and retargeting rigs and such. And this full process would get you through a generic retargeting scenario. But in this case, Anything that's already on Mannequin is actually almost ready to go on to MetaHumans. And so we're going to go through this process a little bit differently. Now, in the content browser, I have this animation from the Animation Starter Pack. That's available for free from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You can just search for Starter Pack and then make sure you filter it on free, and you should be able to find Animation Starter Pack. And with that, we'll just take a look at this sequence here. And all I've got is the mannequin actor in here. And it's playing crouch, walk, forward, rifle hip. So to get this onto MetaHumans, all I really need to do is export this as an FBX file, import that resulting FBX and such that it's targeted for the MetaHuman base skeleton. And then we're just going to adjust the MetaHuman base skeleton retargeting modes so that it doesn't uh, break the scaling of our MetaHumans when we apply this animation. So let's go through that process. I'll just pause this for now. And I'll right click on the animation here in the sequencer, go to properties, and I'll use the magnifying glass to find it in the content browser. Here we are. I will right click and we'll choose Asset Actions and Export. This will give me the opportunity to save this as an FBX file. I'm just going to save it to my Unreal Projects and Save. We'll keep all of the defaults and Export. So now that's available as a file. I'll re-import it for MetaHumans. And just to keep that separate from the Starter Pack animations, I'll just go into my MetaHumans folder, right click, and choose Import. And with that, I'll find my FBX file. There it is. And open. And the big thing to do here is to make sure that the skeleton that it's going to be importing to is the MetaHuman base skeleton. So I'll select the drop down and find MetaHuman base skeleton and choose import. Now these warnings are just warnings, they're not errors, and they don't impact the functionality of the animation. So we're all good to go. We'll close this. And now that this is in here, I'll do Control S to save it. We'll go back to the sequencer and apply it to a metahuman. So I'll select this uh, short girl here, and I will uh, add a track, actor to sequencer. And there she is right at the top since she's selected. And now she has a control rig. So we'll go to the body animation, right click on that control rig and delete it. And then for body, we're going to add an animation track. So plus track, animation, and here's that newly imported uh, walking animation. This one is attached to the uh, metahuman base skeleton. So we've applied that, and sure enough, we have our crazy, crazy distorted scaling of the metahuman. And that's simply a result of the size of the mannequin skeleton being different than this character. So to fix this, we're just going to adjust the retargeting mode for the joints in the metahuman skeleton. So we'll just go right click on the animation, properties, and instead of using the magnifying glass, we'll just double click to go right into that animation. Now with this open, I do have the skeleton tree shown. If uh, you go into the animation editor and you don't see the skeleton tree, just go to Windows and choose Skeleton Tree. And we're going to change the retargeting modes for this. So we'll go to Options, Show Retargeting Options. And finally, we'll click on the pelvis, right click, and we're going to change recursively everything to skeleton. This will change the pelvis and everything attached to it to use skeleton-based retargeting instead of uh, animation relative. So that's done, except that we do want the pelvis to actually stay with either animation relative or animation scaled. So I'm just going to switch that back to animation relative. But doing that here only adjusts the single joint. Everything else will leave set to skeleton. And save. With that, our scaling issues should be gone. And there, sure enough, is our properly scaled metahuman. And she's doing the same motions here. Now, the advantage of using this approach to address the scaling issues is that now this one animation will work on any 
metahuman of any size. So if I select my other metahuman, who's a tall person, we'll uh, add a track, actor to sequencer, there's our quiet guy. Again, right click and delete the control rig for his body, and then we're going to add an animation track. And again, we'll select that exact same animation, crouch, walk, forward, rifle hip, and without any other adjustments, our uh, tall metahuman is actually executing the exact same animation uh, without any scaling issues. So I hope this helps. Till next time, have fun.